we're going to talk a little bit about how do people identify, um, because I think that's something that you know we might take for granted, right? Um, so I, you know, we've had conversations about this, and you personally hate the word lesbian, and, and I think you said something similar to it makes you throw up in your mouth, just or a something little. like that. Just With, a little. Just a little. That's what okay. I said. Just like. Okay, so what is your issue with the word lesbian? Lesbian. Okay, so you don't like how it sounds? It, yeah, that doesn't, no. No. Is it, what were your words? It's not a pretty word. Diarrhea, Peoria, there's some things that just don't work. <laughs> like, moist. I love it. <laughs> yes. Moist. Moist. Slice. Yeah. Panties. Pant it's just one of those words, panties. like, I have issues with. I, yeah, you know, I, I guess I, I still identify as lesbian. <laughs> That's you know a little old school. It's old school. You know, yeah. old school. It's old school. <laughs> I prefer classic. Classic. Mm -hmm. As opposed to As a lesbian. Yeah, like, like, no, you're saying is classic. It's a classic. Oh, I thought you meant like yes. a classic. Oh, I like that. Now that I like, of course see? I like that. Yes. I'm, a little, I'm monosyllabic. <laughs> I see. I like gay or queer. Those are fun words for me to say. Okay. I'm like I'm happy, so I want to be gay. Okay. Yeah, they're fast right. words. And fast. and Tony, what about you? ADD. Um, well, you know, I have multiple identities, of course. Okay. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you I'm, today? I'm brown. As though we didn't know that. Fat <laughs> with a P-H-A-T. My sexuality and my gender identity are both queer. For me, queer. Mm -hmm. You know, I was part of a time where it was young folks who were, you know, revolutionary, who were like, we are queer. But, but I know that not everyone identifies as queer. Different communities, like, it's a very intense word. Right. Yeah, I've, I mean, I'll, we've talked about that because I've made peace with it. But I, yeah. I've... You know, Smear the Queer was the game they played mm -hmm. in school when I was a kid, so... Yeah, and you I, were, where were you? In Springfield? Springfield. Oh. State Capital. That's See, I played yeah. Smear the Queer, but it was much more entertaining than <laughs> <laughs> If it was a sex game, I enjoyed it. I was Smear like, the in high school was awesome. <laughs> I know, I was like, this is it. I'm, I'm right. the soul on that. No, but I like gay, yeah. and I think I won, because it ended up in the, in the title of the show. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we use gay just, you know, as Well, a gay, general gay, gay, gay. kind yeah. of term, which I think is fine, but I think sometimes that for many people just means men. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's like, obviously, like, to me, gay is white. To me, gay mm. is upper class. To mm. me, gay is all mm. these other things that I don't, mm. you know, identify with. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, you know, I understand that it's part of like, communities and identities. And I feel, for me, queerness allows me to be who I want to be. Are you comfortable if someone just asks you, like, well, how do you identify? Or... Uh... Yeah, I'm also, you know, I'm old. I'm older. I'm not as old as Mary Morton. Oh, wow. But, oh, wow. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, my gosh. I just okay. said That is going to be a show. show. <laughs> But I'm, you know, I, I, people don't. I, I, it's people don't ask me anymore. You know, I think I'm in a place where I just am. Okay. The question you asked me earlier was like, oh, but do people know you're gay? Because you don't look gay. I think everybody just knows I'm gay. Because mm. that's, I don't know. I just always I feel assume like you that. Got a gay huh. guy. And that, right? Like yeah, I'm right. gay. I mean, the labels serve a purpose. Because if you want um, spinach and you get peaches, because there weren't labels on anything. I mean, if I want to date a guy and then he doesn't want to date guys, you got to know a little bit of information before you make your move. I, I agree. I agree. But okay, I'm going to bring it back then to relationships. Oh, right, that. The relationships. Yes. Yeah. So. Jim and I have been in what, by gay standards, is... We have been together for nearly 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> first gay marriage in the world. It's beautiful. No, we've been in a long time, because I've been with Terry um, 15 years this yes. year. Yes, yes. Where is he? Well, he should be here, but he didn't see it. That's a relationship, friend. Well, now. People We're going to keep moving. up, I see Willa here. Yes, well, that's true. Apparently she cares. That's true. It's a happy home. So, uh, <laughs> what words tonight. And so, Shannon, what yep. about you? Relationship for three. Three, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. How's it going? Magical. Magical. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. okay. And Tony. That's all you need to know. Yes. <laughs> and so, what do you want to say about a relationship and being in one? Well, I'm. Well, I mean, you know, what do, what is a relationship? Well, that. that well, that's that yeah. that means that. Um, but I'm in a place in my life where, um, you know, I I have a lot of elders in my life who are married and who use that like language. Marrying. I wish well, you would. And that's okay. You know, I support. I mean, ultimately, if 
you want to get gay married, get gay married. You know, for now, I'm very, you know, I, I get my, I'm like, there's specific needs that I have, and I'm here to engage with people in relationship who can support my needs. Do you believe, like, your goal is to find the love of your life and settle down, or? Um, you know what, no, I feel like I, love my life, I love who I am, and if someone comes into my life, I'm one of those people who like people would be like, oh, you're gonna get married. It's it's not to like death do us part. That to me is like ridiculous. Or just till the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's just till, till our love the transition, right? And that's a beautiful thing. Well, I think one of the other things that's been in the news uh, quite a bit um, has been this idea of sort of uh, boycotting the Russian Olympics. Mm -hmm. So where are people on that? Do people feel that that makes sense? Um, have you stopped drinking your vodka from Russia? Where, where, Wait, is where this Russian you? vodka? No, because <laughs> Absolutely. it's just, oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm not even not. getting trashed. Oh, I think enough. it's some kind of American oh. Okay, <laughs> It must be Swedish. So what do we think about that? <laughs> I just keep thinking about, um, it, it just makes me so sad. I just, mm. I think about what an impossible decision that the, that the athletes and the coaches mm -hmm. and the fans and the families have to make about you know, you've worked your entire yeah. life for this thing, and you've got a date, and you've got a place, and you're supposed to be there, and oh. that's where you live out your dream, and now you have to decide, am I going to risk my safety, my freedom, my life, right. possibly, right. you know, to go do this thing? God, what a fucking impossible decision that is. It, it is, because when, you know, when the Olympic Committee, didn't they say something about, well, it's not a place for... Political or religious protests. And so what's a protest? Is it kissing? Um, mm -hmm. So you, you just mm -hmm. won a medal. You're, you're supposed to get kissed by your yeah. partner right. or by whoever you're with that moment. Thank you. And, um, <laughs> and so it's sort of ridiculous, like, because what becomes yeah. political? Our yeah. lives are political because we yeah. put a picture up of someone or... Yeah. I um, I can't give up the vodka. Okay. I think that's okay. crazy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and in the case of Stoli, they, they've okay. been doing the right thing and they've been trying right. to move right. the company right. out of Russia for years. Yeah. So I that's hard for me, but I certainly, um, it, it's terrifying because it's going back in such an ugly, in an ugly way that we haven't seen mm -hmm. in a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm against Russia right now. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, well, my thing is, I I don't know what um, propaganda is, like right. homosexual propaganda. What is that? Because I was thinking, as soon as like I heard that, I was like, if Johnny Ware steps off that airplane <laughs> and is like well, in skates on that ice, is that yeah. propaganda? Because you he's know, a living rainbow flag. Exactly. Yeah. So like, would they just take him to yeah. like, you know, You're where I don't even know where he would go. Like, right. I went out to Boys Town, um, the Boys Town here in Chicago. Um, and just, you know, did a poll to see who, you know, is into this. No. You did a poll. I did a poll, yes. <laughs> <laughs> did you have, like, an iPad where you were ticking off? No, it was just me. You know, I, I don't even know if I was actually in Boys Town. I just drank, went out. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was, there were boys <laughs> to town. You know, and, and I was old. <laughs> exactly. Like, so what are the gays um, saying? They were like, vodka, is, like Russian vodka is premium vodka, so I'm not drinking it. So I'm like, is, this really where our, is that where the gay agenda is? That we are like, you know, stopping the vodka drink. Is that what needs to happen? And yeah, I understand that we need to use our money to like boycott, you know, do certain things. But I don't know if, if the queer community is that invested, you know, because when it happens, you know. So far away. So far away. Well, I think there's way more, way more powerful ways to protest and I don't think that the boycotting vodka is actually mm -hmm. helping any gays in Russia um, mm -hmm. but w like what were we talking about the city oh, and, council yeah, in, in Amsterdam, Amsterdam when Putin was coming to Amsterdam to is visit. Is that how it is Putin? Putin. 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 That's how Bostonians say it so I don't know. No it Putin. sounds right. I didn't know. That sounds better than lesbian. <laughs> 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 Maybe you should call yourself a Putin. I'm a pig. Oh my god I'm totally a Putin. Why does that sound dirty? No it does. Oh it's a poo. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So what do you so anyways, mean? he went to Amsterdam. Yes, okay. And the city council replaced all the flags with gay flags, mm -hmm. like leading down. Oh, so really? there were just hundreds oh, of gay flags leading to the entrance of where his meeting was. Well, do you think in general the gay community has the gay community has stepped up to be as supportive of other issues as they expect people to be of mm -hmm. their issues? Mm -hmm. Did we did we think that's happened? Completely. Oh God. <laughs> <No>. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, well, well, I'm right. You know, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. That's right. right? That's right. Um, yes. And you know, we're still fighting for jobs and freedom. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and I think you know, as, as someone who identifies as queer, to me, what that means is my issues are more than just um, gay marriage or whatever other 
mainstream gay issue are, right? For me, it's like about, um, you know, economic justice, it's about racial justice. So I think that it's, even though, you know, we, we need to look at, you know, these historical moments and say, what actually, where are we at as a society and how do we really work to support, you know, uh, f things that are not our movement? That's right. And that goes yeah. back to that idea of using the word community so freely, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because, of course, if people are still being fired from their jobs because of gender identity or sexual mm -hmm. orientation issues, I can't even go and get married <laughs> in some yeah, cases, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I don't have health care. That's really a key issue, yeah. and we need to make sure that the Employment Non-Discrimination yeah. Act is passed, for yeah. instance, mm -hmm. right? That's really going to be key and it's going to impact people right. on a yeah. different level. I mean, you look at the marriage issue, and like, there's a, a marriage case now in Virginia, and you could pass marriage there, and then they put out a picture of their uh, wife or husband, and they could still be fired because there's no workplace right. protection. Right. So there's a lot of inconsistencies right. Right. Uh, that are going to happen. But part of it is, too, I think, you know, any kind of civil rights movement is messy and uncontrolled, oh, and absolutely. you sort of take your moments when they come. And this is the this is the moment for marriage, and, and our responsibility is good gays, um, or um, whatever Putin's lesbians gay. or Putin. I'm a gay. I'm weird. <laughs> I think our responsibility is to make sure we're making those connections and making mm -hmm. sure that when when one thing is solved, the people that joined in with us to help us win that, we have a responsibility then Absolutely. To, to pass it on. We I, are very smart. Well, I think we that, our own show. I think <laughs> that is the gay agenda, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. standing up for ourselves, but standing up for other people as well. And, and looking great, and that's looking right. great. That's right, that's right. And having a little cocktail. And having a cocktail. cocktail. So we'll get to that. <laughs>